Well, hello, all you fine people out there in YouTube land. This here's the NRA man forever. Now, I know I said I would include all the basic knowledge that uh, new gun owners would need uh, when it came to semi-auto pistols, but there was something I forgot. I'm not a robot. I make mistakes. My bad. I'm sorry. That's why I'm doing this real quick. Um, if you do use your pistol for self-defense, nine times out of ten, when you do actually wind up using it, if you wind up using it, it's going to be at night. And something I didn't cover in that five-part series was uh, how to use a flashlight and a pistol. So, got the pistol still, still on loan. I'm probably taking it back today, so uh, first thing we're going to do, Check it, make sure it's empty. So you can see it's empty. No round in the chamber, no magazine. We're good to go. <clears throat> Need a flashlight. Now it doesn't have to be one of these big old huge long ginormous, you know, double as a club flashlights, but I do recommend a good mag light. A good, you know, three or four cell, uh, you know, either D or C cell flashlight. The first one I want to talk about is the most basic. What you're going to do, you're going to take the pistol in your firing hand and hold it in your firing hand. With your support hand, you're going to support it and it's going to look like this. The reason for this is so you still have that extra support and wherever this flashlight is going, that's where your bullet is going, roughly. Another way you can do it, uh, a lot of people don't like holding the flashlight right there because it advertises. This flashlight is directly in front of me. It is pretty much directly over my heart. Any bad guy with a gun that's not completely blinded can aim at the light. Any bad guy that's not completely blinded can aim at the light. So what people do, what professional trainers will do and law enforcement trainers will tell people is when they do it, hold the pistol out like such and hold the flashlight up over your head. Now it looks silly, it looks ridiculous, I know, but what that does is it gets the light up and away from your body. Now if they start shooting at the light, Instead of, hey, instead of bullets coming right here, the bullets are coming over here. Either way, you're going to have to train. Either way, you're going to have to practice. Whichever one you use, it is all dependent on whichever one you feel more comfortable with. I'm going to be honest. Even though I'm a worst case scenario type of guy, this is what I train with. This is what I use. This is what I'm comfortable with. The reason why is it allows me a quick reference as to where my bullets are going. It's not an exact, uh, precise, you know, method of aiming, but as far as being a quick and expeditious uh, guesstimate as to there's my threat, I need to put bullets in that area, it works. But thank y'all for watching. United We Stand, Divided We Fall. Join the NRA.